If you're anything like me, then you like working with a laptop over a desktop computer because not only is it portable and practical, but it also gives you the freedom to physically work wherever you wanna work. However, when I'm at home working, I didn't wanna limit the functionality that my MacBook can do. And so recently, I discovered the CalDigit TS3 Plus hub, which turns my MacBook Pro into a desktop computer with a single cord. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how it does that and all the specs. Let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tsukori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online videos. Sometimes we do camera videos, other times we do workflow videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And be sure to check out the description below for all the links and things that I mentioned in this video to include the T3 Plus if you wanna get more detailed specs, but let's get into it. So around 2017, Apple redesigned the MacBook Pro to have a very minimal and simple design. And this required them removing things like the SD card, the USB port, uh, you know, ethernet port, and a few other things along the way. Um, even before that, it was like the CD drive and things like that. However, uh, as a content creator and somebody who's always using SD cards and card readers and uh, different things to power up USB and things like that, it was kind of frustrating because what it forced you to do is at the, at the second of buying a MacBook Pro, you would actually need to buy one of these, which is what you would call a dongle. And uh, although they have gone down in price, originally they were around 60 to $80, and really they come in various different forms, uh, but nonetheless, just something you always had to carry around when bringing around your MacBook, and even today, I still have to do so. But as I've been designing my office and creating a place where I really just want like a seamless workflow. When I come in here, I just wanna plug in and start working. And whether that be live streaming or doing conference calls or you know editing video, um, I definitely wanted it to be simple. But Kyle on the Think Media team, he's one of the editors, told me about this hub that is incredible. Essentially, the CalDigit TS3 Plus is a dongle on steroids. And I'll get into all the things that it has and offers in just a second. But the price of this hub is about $240 here in the US at the time of shooting this video. And I'm gonna tell you why I believe it's worth it 1000%. This hub legit has 15 points of connectivity. It has two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which is cool because you have the ability to expand to dual monitors if you so desire. One single display port, five standard USB ports, two USB-C ports, Ethernet, an SD card reader that can read up to UHS-2 cards, which is pretty cool. Optical audio if you're using like a sound bar or a sound system stereo audio in and out. And as far as orientation goes, you can set it vertical or horizontal. It's made out of a sturdy full aluminum construction with an integrated heat sink without a fan. But what I love most is how seamless it looks and it really does blend in with the Apple kind of products. And I actually bought mine from the Apple store. So it's actually, you know, Apple certified, I guess you could say. I really love this hub because it's the ultimate dongle as far as all the things that i personally use it for i feel like i almost max it out i have my 4k monitor that is hooked up to the display port i use the usb-c uh, port for an external ssd drive that i usually edit off of i have my ethernet so i have my internet going line in i use an elgato cam link which uses a usb port and that just turns my camera into a webcam i use another usb port for my mic and, uh, and then obviously it powers, it has the SD card reader, like I mentioned before, but all that literally funnels all the way through with just one cord uh, into my MacBook Pro. And if I could be honest, I was kind of skeptical at first because I was like, dude, Kyle, there's no way that you can actually put all this stuff in a single you know, Thunderbolt 3 cord. And I guess the potential of what Thunderbolt 3 can actually do is pretty gnarly. We ran a uh, speed test from, uh, you know, my SSD dragging footage from the SSD straight onto the MacBook and then dragging the footage from the hub through, through the hub onto my MacBook. And literally there was really no time loss. The same goes with my internet speed. You know, I plugged in the ethernet with a USB-C adapter and tested my internet download and upload speeds. And again, didn't uh, falter either way, it was all the same. And so it really is unreal that this single hub does everything for you. And I think for most people, like even if you're not really editing video, but you know, you bring your laptop to work 
and you plug it into an external monitor, this is something to think about. It's really cool, like even being able to plug in a pair of headphones just because it's like facing you and you don't have to wrap around or anything like that, but it just makes working so much more easier. And I think it's always a wise investment to do something that saves you time and also just cuts the clutter. This, without a doubt, is an incredible accessory for the MacBook Pro. And it does work for PC laptops if you have Thunderbolt 3. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I think if you like the workflow of being able to just roll up to your desk and plug in and then start working, uh, this definitely is the way to go. But I wanna pass the question off to you. What do you think of the CalDigit Hub? Uh, and what, what do you think about its price at $240? Let me know in the comment section below. I think anytime I can save time and cut clutter, by all means, it's probably a good investment. But also, if you're getting value in this video, why don't you smash the like button for me? Thank you so much. And we actually have a playlist on our workstation and home office setups. Uh, you can click or tap the screen and check that out where many of us from the Think Media team break down our office and our workspace. And you can get a lot of good ideas because we're really all about efficiency and things like that. So check out that playlist and I cannot wait to see you in a future video. Peace.